Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Stock Screener. This is the Stock Screener portfolio. We bought Sofina in January. It went down with a stock market crash here, 30%, but it went right back up. And it's only down like 4% now. So we still have an overall return of 80%. I believe Sofina will do very well in the coming years, but let's go to another stock here. Let's sell the Sofina shares, five shares. Sell. And we have closed the position. So the next stock that we will buy is a gold miner, of course, because gold is going up here. It has this head and shoulder pattern and it has broken out of the 1700. So we need to bet on this. Gold is going much higher. And I believe that B2 gold is one of the best mines out there. Let's go over the fundamentals here so you want to have low cost gold mines and if you look at this Fecola mine this is one of the mines of B2 gold is seventh here in the lowest cost gold mine list with an AISC of 500 so it's very good And I have also summed up here what you need to look for. You need to have an open pit gold mine, very easy to mine. And also during the virus quarantine period, you want to have open pits because that's, that's much better than underground mines, less contagious. Um, the B2 gold mines have a long mine life, around 10 plus years very high cash flow no corona problems it's low cost as you can see here on the list low debt it just started to pay a dividend there is growth here it's owned by peter schiff fund so uh, even the big guys are going to buy this and it's a buyout target Um, I have posted here also the latest cash flow statement. So we have here the cash from operating activities is 500. So that's correct. And when you look at the free cash flow, that's this minus the capex at 262. Then we have still at we are still at. 250 free cash flow so that's very good but this number here is going to go much higher it's still at 500 but this is probably now at 1 billion and that means that the free cash flow is around 600 700 million now so that's very cheap if you compare that with a market cap of 5 billion Okay, so let's go over the presentation. So B2 Gold has uh, primarily mines in Africa, in Mali, so that's the Fecola mine, and also in the Philippines, and has an exploration project here with the PEA in Colombia. So that's uh, a growth story here. You can see here the cash flow keeps going up. Costs keep going down and production goes up. So this is the largest part here, the Fecola mine in Mali. AISC is around 800, which is below 1000, so that's good. These are the countries they are operating in. They have some growth projects here.
Here you can see that they started to pay a dividend in 2020. They have uh, a bit of debt, but that's going to be paid off very soon. So this is the projected cash flow in 2020. It's 700 million instead of the 500 that I showed there. And this is only at a price of 1,500 for gold. Gold is already now at 1,800, so that's uh, plus 20 percent. So that means that this should already be at 1 billion. And minus capex, it should be 700 million. So that's very cheap. And I believe gold will go much higher, so that's uh, that's not counted in yet. Uh, you see here 10 years of mine life, 17 years even, 9 years. So these are uh, long-term mines. And they keep expanding here. This is the open pit mine, so they mined out this part. So there's a lot of higher grade gold to be mined out still. And they have uh, an exploration project at the current mines. And in Colombia. And let's look at the Colombia project. Apparently 48%. Let's look at the project numbers 13 years and here we see that we have an after tax NPV of 671 million which is very high compared to the market cap of the company so that's also very good So, yeah, I think this is a very, very nice uh, mine to have. So I wanted to compare this actually to Newmont mining. Let's let's do that to see if it's actually cheaper or more expensive than Newmont mining. So let's take Newmont mining here. So it's now Newmont Corporation, so you can go to the financials. And I want to look at the cash flow. Let's go to the financials here as well, and to the cash flow. And here you can see what the operating cash flow is. And that's this number here. Net cash provided by operating activities, it was this 490 million number here. And at Newman Corporation, we have this number 2.8. And when you look at the cash provided by investing activities, Then you can see that that there is this investment in property plant and equipment so that's actually the capex and we have this 260 here so this minus this is around 250 that's the free cash flow 250. now let's look at newmont mining If you subtract this here, then it's around 1.5, 1.5 billion probably. So on one hand, we have 250 million and then here 
1.5 billion and now when we look at the market cap 1.5 billion and the market cap is 50 billion so let's 50 divided by 1.5 is 33 while at B2 gold we have a market cap of 5 divided by 250 million so so we have 20 so that's cheaper so I believe that V2 gold is actually cheaper than Newmont mining when you look at the cash flow so let's go on and buy this so it's now at 4.8 B to gold. And we're going to add four point eight, let's say three hundred shares. That should do it. And so now we have 300 shares. At 4.8. And we have the rest is cash. So let's see what this will be doing. Let's see what the gold price will be doing and what B2 gold will be doing. I believe that this trend will continue to rise into next year. And I'll see you in the next video.